All right. Uh, welcome to the first episode of what I'm calling Design Lab, um, where I, I invite guests to come tell me about their problems, and then we try to design something uh, in an hour to see what we can do. Um, today's guest is Victoria Lupia, who is a mother of two and uh, art conservator from Oklahoma. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Liv. Victoria, fun fact, is also my sister-in-law. Thanks, thanks for being to be the inaugural guinea pig for this. Uh, well, for this thanks for program. helping me with my problem. Glad, glad to help. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to start with talking about what the problem is. Um, you had sent me some photos of um, your current solution, and then we'll do a little bit of design, and then we'll try to build something in an hour. Um, I've done very minimal prep, so a lot of this is going to be kind of on the fly, um, and. You'll get to see a little bit of the process, but I'm hoping that um, you'll be able to constrain the problem to exactly what you need. So why don't we start with the problem? Um, well, one of my children has special needs and does very well with a visual schedule. So a strip of paper with a series of pictures that explain what she's going to do that day or that morning or um for most of the day and it helps her feel better uh, more in control and have some you know sense of time in a way that young children generally don't um what i have been doing is going online and finding clip art pictures um or you know free images of whatever i need either an activity or a place and you know dragging it onto my computer onto my saving it onto my desktop and then dragging it into a word document and resizing it and lining them up and it just takes forever and i was thinking there's just got to be an easier way you know where i could create my own bank of images um and just drag and drop and something would automatically convert everything to the right size so i don't have to spend you know, 30 minutes clicking and resizing everything and printing and formatting. And I thought, surely there's an easier way to do this. So I said, hey, Lev, can you help? Because I'm not a programmer. Yep, that, that all sounds right. Um, is it okay <laughs> to share those three examples that you um, that you shared with me? Absolutely. Are you going to share them or do you want? I'm sharing them right here. Okay, yeah. So so this is an example you've had of like a process to go to the toilet. Yeah, this um, is a very short visual schedule that says all the steps you need to complete a single task. Right. And then here's another one you sent me, which was just like a series of, of what the yeah, day was going to look a like. Morning, morning schedule. So you wake up, you go to the bathroom, you wash your hands, brush teeth, brush your hair, and get dressed. And then this is a more complex multi-part one yeah that's an entire day schedule where we're going to have breakfast you're going to do some work at a table going to watch some tv we're going to go clothes shopping we're going to go food shopping we're going to eat lunch we're going to go to the playground we're going to a speech therapist mm -hmm. have a little break to watch tv again while i uh, unload the groceries we're going to get in the car go pick up bro big brother go to a playground again and then end the day with a Slurpee from 7-Eleven. Sounds amazing. All right, <laughs> cool. So so um, the thing that I'm getting from these is, right, it's like a panel. And each of these is, I don't know, roughly an inch. Right, it's like four inches by, right? What's the height? What's the height it's of this? A, well, it's, a, it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. And it's cut into three. So that's probably about two and a half inches. But the pictures are probably only about Mm -hmm. one to one and a half inches high perfect let me just write some of this stuff down right okay so we've got like one to 1.5 inch high images um well it's got the the, the padding is going to be important also in the way that we set it up um because i'll show what, you what, what do you mean by padding uh, the, the white space the white yeah. space around and between images yes. um is, is important i think you want to minimize that at the edges like mm -hmm. just have a standard border 
and then just enough space in between that they're kind of discrete yeah. time units yep. or whatever. We'll, we'll get into that as we get into the design more closely. Um, yeah. I see that you've cut these into strips. Is that just a, an artifact of printing or you mix and well, match them? That's an artifact them? of, of um, you know, the way my child reads them. There, mm. I want to go oh. left to right, and yep. I'm not necessarily sure right now if she knows to drop to the next line. I see, I see. So you present them one at a time. So yeah, exactly. Got it. And then, um, okay. So this one had one, two, three, four, five, six. How important are the are the captions part of the thing, or is that a thing that you? So add? I think in an ideal world, I would like to be able to add the caption, mm -hmm. and perhaps change a caption as needed. For example. Um, you know, let's yeah. see from the picture. I mean, that that's fine. But, okay. So, um, so, so caption. So there's a picture, and then the caption. And is the height of this significant, or that's just how it turned out? No. Yeah. Well, I think that says like how to go to the toilet in that one. That was something oh, I that that's I didn't like change. Title. I only changed. I, see, I, see. I changed one picture, as you can see, with some scotch tape. Um, <laughs> yep. That just tells what task, you know. Got it. Okay. All right. Um, I see. So most of them don't have any kind of title or any kind of text. Except Correct. Here we've got the like heading. But I think it would be good there. to help with, you know, some sight words. For sure. sure. All right. We'll we'll focus on the core problem first, that. and then and yep. then we'll expand out. So why don't I? Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a little um, place for us to design, <laughs> and, and this, we're gonna use this super complicated. Tool called slides. Um, how to do anything crazy fancy? This is going to be just brand new Google slide, um, and I'm just going to drop all of this. We're just going to draw a picture of what we're going to build. Okay, so um, ideal world. There's some like heading thing here but that that's going to be secondary to the main bit then i think what we'll do is we'll make a little box mm -hmm. um and this box will have a little plus sign in it and that plus sign will be like hey you can add images by clicking the plus or you can just drag and drop a bunch of images into this area and then what we'll do is oh here's an idea what if, um, this may be a little out there. This is not gonna be the first thing I'm gonna build, but an idea that I just had was maybe we let you just like add a row, right? So. Yes. And then that way I don't have to say like what the format is. It's just sort of, you drag your, you add an image, add another image, add more images, drag a bunch of images, they'll just upload into one row, but you can also say add another row and that will sort of create another one of these boxes that you can drag and drop images into. Um, and then once you have some images, I will denote with the, this kind of symbol. Image. So uh, this is not super pretty, but close enough. Um, those pretend that that's an image, right? So every time you add an image, you'll always have that little plus, this little plus box where you can just drag and drop more stuff. Add another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and you could do one at a time or you could do them all at once. And the idea would be that, um, I guess afterwards I'll need to add some kind of way to delete stuff too. So maybe some kind of little button, little delete button over here that's just kind of like an X. And this isn't super fancy. This is just kind of helping me plan out my thoughts about what features we need to build. Um, and we said maybe a little caption, maybe a little place to add edit the caption. Um, okay. Right. So once you add them, you can add a caption. Oh, and then we also want to be able to drag these things around. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. So which position? Hmm. Right, Which exactly. Mm -hmm. so, and have uh, to maintain their little formatting row. Yep. Yep. 
alignment, I guess is the exactly, word. Exactly, exactly. So we're gonna do that. So we'll add a little handle here or some, it's gonna be some some way that I'm denoting with this little double bar at the moment, but it's probably you could just grab the whole thing as long as you don't click on the X um, to just sort of grab it and drag it and mm -hmm. drop it. Okay, so, so far, so the features we have are, um, uh, add a heading, um, drag drop images. Um, so actually, that's two different things. That's like rearrange images. And before that, there's drag drop images from the computer, right, to display them. Yep. Um, and we also have a way of moving, move an image. Add a row, and probably I guess we'll have to add some kind of if you want to delete the whole row. Um, and, uh, add a caption. Okay. Anything so that's you obviously link the caption and the image once you've. Yeah, we're assuming this is like one. Put them on the this is like one item. So when you drag it, you're dragging the yes, image and the caption. Exactly. Together. This is going to be one 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 unit. Um, is there any obvious thing that's missing? Nope. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. This is going to be the first thing we're going to work on: dragging and dropping images. That's that's the hardest and probably the most important thing. Everything else, the rearranging, is probably going to be the next thing just to get it to have some kind of basic functionality. Headings and captions I'll work on last. Removing them is we have add and remove. <clears throat> if we have add and remove for an individual item, then then adding another row is going to be not too bad. And then um, oh, actually one thing we really need that's not not something that's here, but we need layout. Yes. We actually need to be able to print these things. Um, and, okay. All right. Let's start with dragging and dropping the images. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna start by making a new file. I'm gonna make an HTML file. Now, um, for those who are watching, you might be surprised that I'm not using any kind of framework or any kind of anything. I'm gonna to try to do this as light as possible so that we can just um, get started. And later on, maybe this becomes a much you know, more complicated thing. But for now, so I'm gonna highlight that thing. Oh, let's make that one. Let's start with a. Oh, All right, whatever. Um, and uh, it's it being so weird. Uh. Hmm. Chucks, this is not in the There we go. All right. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> in order to do this, I think what we're going to do is um, let's make a little title. Uh, I'm just going to and I'm going to need. Uh, we're gonna need some kind of area. Let's make the main area, the area where we're dragging stuff around. This has gotta be. Okay, there we go. All right, and in here, we're gonna start with, um, we're gonna start with something where we can drag and drop images into. Now, I actually did do a little bit of prep. It's one of the two things that I actually looked into, which was, um, there's a nice little, there's a couple of things. First one is um, there's this nice guide, and all the links will be in the show notes, which I'll have to make. But um, which is, this is like a much more complicated guide of like, let's say we were uploading something to a website, and right, so this is like dragging a bunch of images and uploading them. Um, we're going to just yank out all the stuff that has to do with uploading stuff places, and we're just going to do the very basic drag and drop images um, just locally locally sourced. So that way, uh, you don't have to worry about having setting up a server or anything like that. 
Okay, so let's take Thank a look. You. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you or anyone else who wants to make something <laughs> like this. Okay, so what they do is they make a fake input, which is where you're gonna drop things and then they make a drop region, open the file selection clicked. Okay, this all sounds good. Let's take that too. So what do they actually have here? Some body thing. Then they have this drop region. Then they have a message that says like drop images. Okay, good, right. So let me get this going here. I'm gonna run a little local server. Just so that I can look at my beautiful page, which is currently empty. Excellent. And now we're gonna start adding little things. And actually, I also should make a quick let's file. So this file is going to be where we're gonna put all style information. And we're just gonna run. We're going to do this and I'll just directly link in less over here like this so that way we can write our style sheet over here on the right and then the HTML on the left. And this will let us do a little bit of styling. Okay, so in the main, we're gonna start with a row, which I'll just call a row. And in the row, there will always be at the very end of the row, there's gonna be a box. And that will call the this is where we can drop images. And the drop target will say drag and drop. Something like that. And so that's the drop target. Nice. And uh, make it with like a background color. So a little bit of gray background color. And maybe like the border is. Pixels dash or something like that. Okay. And okay, yep. A little gross at the moment, but it's fine. I'm around it. And Pixels and maybe let's make the border radius five. Okay, a little better. We'll work on fonts and things later. Um, okay, so that's going to be the place where we're going to drop drop the images onto. Okay, uh, fine. And oh, right. Let's start making this. Uh, fake input thing. So what they're doing is image preview. All right. Except images you can also right. Okay. So we don't care. We just want any kind of image that you have. While this is going, Victoria, can you email me a few of your um, clip arts that you use, and I'll yeah. that way I can. Uh, Try practice using them. Okay, so what happens is there's eight things that can happen. You can drag a thing in, you can drag it out, and then you can drop it. Fine. This all sounds pretty simple. Add event and listener drop region. Then we handle the drop event. Fine. We don't actually have to transfer the files because we're not sending them anywhere. This only works if the files are derived from local file system. Perfect. That's all we that's all we ever care about. Um, although it's nice that they have they have a handle like if you drop an image from a different tab onto here, it will also work. All right, that's fine. We can keep that. Um, preview, preview. This all looks good. And we don't actually care about the uploading. There's the complete thing. Addition improvements. Ah, 
this isn't so important. Fine. Let's grab all their code. I'm just going to grab all of this. Um, and we're going to stick it in our thing. How many pictures do you want? Uh, like three. Yeah, I think too crazy. All right, let's take a look at all this stuff. Okay, we don't actually have to do any of the upload stuff. We'll grab all that, make all that go away. But drop region, we do have an eaten drop region. And image preview. Oh, that wasn't their thing. What was that? Oh, image preview is this. And an image preview also. And drop target. Oh, the drop region. I see. Whole was the whole thing. I'm just going to try to get, you know, get it to work in a very basic way. Um, row content. Right, if I can get it to work in a very basic way, then we can focus on trying to get this to work better. Okay, so this actually is not super necessary. Preview. Progress, read, waveform data, upload location is not really important. And then we're going to do none of this. We're do none of this. Next. And it is form data. And we don't even have to read the image. Uh, no, that's not true. We do have to read the image because we have to get the source. Everything else is going to be kind of unimportant. Let's see. Did you send me those things? Yep. Okay, cool. I'll just check my email. Got it. Cool. Ah, I see. I see the problem that you're having because these images are all kinds of different sizes. Um, let's download these. To this folder. Let's make a quick folder. Hopefully this is not too boring. Um, I know it's just me it's moving fine. stuff around. And... <laughs> uh, all right. Official schedule clipboard. Uh, what is this? This is like. And then washing hands. And washing hands, and let's do one more. This is the speech pathologist, speech therapy. It's great as now we have a PNG, a JPEG, and we have a few different, a couple different types. So that's great. All right, let's see if we can get this to work. So if I refresh this, um, I should be able to. Um, let's see. Maybe that doesn't work from this context. Maybe it will work from here. Nope. That did not work. Oh, well, that would be a problem. Let's resolve that problem. So what's the problem? Line 11. Line 11, drop region, get element by ID, drop region. Like, I made an event called drop region. No, drop region. Oh, that would be a problem. Hmm. Heart refresh. Nope, that also didn't help. Okay, let's sanity check this. Okay. 
What am I missing? Oh, well, I know what's wrong. This script is running before anything else is loaded. Nothing exists at the time. Over here. All right, now everybody's happy. Good. So now let's take a kid's table picture and. Okay, cool. And if I add a speech therapy picture, great. Okay. I mean, obviously this looks terrible, but the point is the basic <laughs> concept is <laughs> right. The, the the basic premise is is somewhat justified. Okay, cool. All right. So it was able. And if I refresh, all those pictures go away. All right. Fine. Now let's move on to. So that was great. That's super helpful. That's how we add images. Fine. Let me just add another image and see what kind of CSS does it add around this. Does it do anything to this? Uh, oh, I see. Image preview, image view, and then that's the drop target. Okay. Okay. So. What I want to do is I want to switch these around. And I'm going to say, uh, we're going to use Flexbox for this. Alexa has just come in to join us. Hi, Alexa. Cash? Who is that? Who do you hear? Chalkery? Uh, almost. Chris. Yeah, that's right, Uncle Lev. Exactly. Okay, so now if I take this in here. No, ah, we're okay. just listening right now. Flexbox, your uh, schedules. Right. Big guide to Flexbox. Yeah, for All you. right, this is what we want. So we want to display flex, and the flex direction is going to be in the row direction. So display flex and... Uh, This row, but just in case it isn't, we'll make it flex direction. No row direction, because we're making a little row. And what we'll do is we will not do any wrap. Well, although wrapping is not terrible, right? You could just keep adding. I think adding wrapping images. is good, yeah. So why don't we just do, you know, just keep adding pictures. So if you have too many pictures, just keep yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. Just, just keep going. Here's about. We don't even need the concept of rows at that point. We just, oh. yeah. Okay, that kind of keeps things simple. Hey, mom. Okay, and I think we'll do space evenly for justified content. Oh, it's kind of just evenly spaced of the thing. I think, uh, can I? Yeah, yeah, please, please. Uh, step in. I think if you have fewer than fit in a row, you'd want them all um oh you want them kind of like this like the top the top line yeah like start okay yeah no problem we'll make the house. House. all right and then do you care about top alignment um center line oh i want them all the same size does that make sense yeah, I know you do, and we'll try it. We'll, we'll, we'll try for that as well. Uh, let's see. We could just stay, what did we could I try do? straight. Well, why don't we wait and see how it goes? We'll, we'll, we'll okay. come back. We don't have to. We don't have to pick all of these things now. Um, Probably bottom alignment is if you want the words all, the captions in a row. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Um, although the captions are going to be um, underneath. Uh, uh, yeah, they're going to be okay. slightly different. Um, we'll deal with that later. Let me just see if there's anything else that's particularly painful. We'll do with all these gaps. Not worried about that. We're tying it in with like how to read from left to right. Yes, yes, that makes sense. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll go out. Okay. To me. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then let's grab. Let's see if I grab three pictures all at once. Would that work? No, that did not work. Oh, because I didn't drop it in the drop area. If I drop it in the drop area, yes. OK, cool. Uh, now I need to do something for the individual items. So for the individual items in here are going to be with, uh, let's look at how this, what does this actually do? Do, 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 do. 
image view. Okay, so each image view. It's actually not the drop region. It's the image preview has got the flex going. So the image preview, and inside that, there's an image view. And that image view, we're going to say is max height. Um, see, OK, so the images are different sizes. And what we could do is we could say that we control their Like, you could either control their width and then have their height be automatic, or you could control their height and make their width automatic, right? Yeah. If, so which is the thing that matters more visually? Um, my, my, get, my gut is that if you made the heights the same and one takes up more space width-wise, that's OK. Right? But if you had them all the same width and then the heights are all kind of weird. Yes, so. I think I think that's that's correct. My so, my one caveat is that sometimes I or yeah, let's go with this. Okay. So what what width what's what's the width that we're gonna force on all the images? Let's go with one and a half inches. Is that reasonable? Sure. Yep, that's fine. And we'll say the height is auto. The thing the same and um, let's make a little border just so we can see uh, a big solid block just to be able to see that the images are where the border of them is and we have to make the image that's inside this image view have a height of 100 percent and a width of 100 percent it's got it. Uh, well, let's just do the width as 100% and the height is auto. Um, this is for the image that's inside the little thing that contains the image. I know it's confusing. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, uh, all right. Let's refresh this and try that. That didn't happen at all. What's going on? Okay. So it's got the image. It's got the little image views. These are all great. How come we don't have any styles? Oh, I know why. Because the less did not get reloaded. No, now I'm really confused. Image view. Yeah, that's a picture of Janet. Uh, drop region is not this drop region. It's This is called this. Let's just do this for the preview part. And let's drop those images again. OK. Oh, that looks good. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. OK. So we've got the got a little bit of. Uh, We've got some basic thing going here, which is great. Now let's let's grab one of these images. Okay, so one of the things we could do with this image view That's is so we cool. could add a little like um, add a little padding to the right. So let's add uh, actually let's make that margin and not padding. Uh, we can make that a little smaller, like point five. And I can turn off this border, so it's just the you know it's just the pictures as you want them. But uh, I'm, I'm keeping the border so I can see that the images are are happening the way that we want. Okay. And what I might do is if I refresh this and I drop one image. So if I do the first image, okay, that's kiss the kid table and then speech therapy. Okay, it adds it right after. Cool. All right. So, uh, did you want a little? Do you think that little padding is good? Or I think, yeah, I think we need a little padding in between. Yep. Cool. All right. So let's just do that. So we'll say that um, point five one. Okay. And so then loop, loop. Yeah. Loop. All right. Cool. All right. So now the little, little things show up. 
Excellent. And do they have uh, a box around them? They do. I am putting that little box around okay. them. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can I remove that good. box. I'm, I'm putting it. I'm just having it there for now, so we can see where the boundaries are. Good idea. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, all right. So then let's make this drop target thing. Less. Eh, I could deal with this later. The drop target is not is not like I, I ideally what I would like is the entire page to be a drop target, right? You can mm -hmm. just drop images anywhere on the page, and I might do that. Um, but not at this second. Right now we're just we got the first got the first little thing done, right? Which was we can drop images in here and they automatically get sized to the right to the right size. Okay. The next thing that we want to do is um this is our so we got drag and drop images from the computer. All right, let's do rearrange. Uh, rearrange images. It's so, okay. So you've got them, but now <laughs> you could just you could drag them, drop them back onto itself multiple times, uh, because right, you can take an image from anywhere. Right, you could take um, just find an image. Like here's an image. If I drag it onto here, well, guess what? Now it's Right, you could take an image from anywhere and just drag it onto this page, into this box, and it will show it. So that's all great. Now let's do step three, or item three: drag and drop images, but rearrange them. Okay, so to re rearrange images, we're going to use um, this little tool. Uh, Shopify had a long time ago put out a um, a tool called Draggable. And what this lets you do is swap swap images. Now, I don't know if I need them to be swapped or for just sortable. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that might work. And I don't care about this particular thing. I just want this behavior. Zebra. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Multiple containers. I don't really need multiple containers. I just want it to work. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Uh, what? <laughs> um, surely there is a simpler way to get started on this. <laughs> no longer maintained. Beautiful. All right. Uh, yep. Let's just take their entire bundle. I don't care. We'll figure out all which if we need fewer pieces, we'll use fewer pieces and won't make it so big. But at the moment, uh, it's important to just get it to work. So step one, make it work. Step two, make it clean. All right, fine. So now I have all the things. What was this sortable? Okay, sortable. Yeah, there we go. That's a little more understandable. Uh, sortable is a new druggable sortable, and then you say which thing can be sortable and what's druggable inside that thing. Okay, that's that's trivially straightforward. Uh, oh, I wonder if this will work if I add more things or if I have to do some kind of refresh when I add more stuff. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, so. Uh, so at the top, I'm going to say, great, the new selector, query selector all. So that's the unordered list. And these are the list items inside that unordered list. So we're going to say, um, in the image preview, the draggable is the, yes, all the preview, is the image view is draggable. inside that thing. And there's going to have to be some kind of way to update this when you drag new images in. So this is likely to not work the very first time I try it. But whoa, what happened? A 404? Oh, shucks. OK, OK. 
I just get a new version of Muggable? Whatever you give me, I'm not going to complain. Uh, stuff. Oh, it's a different version of okay. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just do that. And at this point, I'm not worried about like, oh, do I have the latest version of the thing? I just want something that works. It's not a constructor. Oh, boy. The hero has guessed it might not be correct. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's, let's try. In beta. It's weird that this bundle looks. Hey, that works. Fine. So now I drop this in here and I drop speech therapy in here. Boom. Look at that. You see that? I see it. Okay. Good. All right. So now you can rearrange and add as many. Oh, I see. But now you can't drop. Can okay. you copy and paste? Can you copy? And... Uh, I mean, you could just update. You could just drag the image from your computer again. Okay, again. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah, you could do that as many times as you want, right? So I could take all okay, these good. things and just drop them a bunch of times. Yep. Perfect. And then I can rearrange them however I want. Okay. So that takes care of that item. Okay. So now uh, let's just quickly jump down to print layout. Let's make sure this is that when this prints, that it actually looks reasonable. It's going to look terrible. Right. Okay. So I thought. Okay, so <clears throat> to make this print properly, um, well, first of all, we want to hide this drag and drop images thing. So what I'm going to do is um, maybe now's a good time to make the like the drop region could be the entire the entire page could be the drop region. There's really no reason why. And do that to everything. Full page. Um, and then I want to make this more like for a thing. I'm just going to do really simple. The images go. And I'm actually going to drop target. Do I, do I even need the drop target? I'm not really needing it. So let's just get rid of it. Super simple. Okay, that's number one. First thing is it's really simple. I'll add a little thing. Nope. Hmm. What's the problem? Uh, the body does not look really that. OK. Having something inside of it, I see. OK, fine. So um, this is fine. Um, Okay. 
Why is it that big? I don't know. All right, I'll clean that up later. But I think now is the body the right size? No, it isn't. Why isn't it display block? Is the body not the right size? Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think that's what I'm saying. Could help in many cases. That sounds pretty scary. Nope. Um, hmm. I feel like there's a way that I do this normally that takes care of this problem. But okay, I'm not going to deal with that right now. Because I think as long as I drop it you know, somewhere in the vicinity of this thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll, I will fix that in a second. Okay, let's make a print layout. Um, how do you say this? How do you say this? Says print layout. Blah, 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 blah. No, it is how you say it. Media print. Okay. Great. So. Empty will get that thing will get hidden. Um, what else do we need? We don't need that much else. I think if I actually let's make this with just for testing. Drop the images there. Let's keep it. Uh, it's a little bit of. Okay, I see the problem. And I don't need to add. I need to add like two pixels of padding inside the image so that. So that and like two pixels all around so that the border of the box is. Visible. There we go. All right. So that's our print layout. What else? Um, captions. We need space between line rows. Space between rows. Uh, yes. Here's what's going to happen. Let me just add this a bunch of times. Um, so if we do this, yeah. So I don't need this anymore. This could help. So this has to do with how you align the content. Space around looks like the right thing. Oh. Space around items that are in these series equal space around each line. Yeah. So align content space around. Uh, that's for this guy. And This and this are going to give me a thing that I wanted. Hmm. Just add. Um, that's not enough to wrap. Okay. 
Okay, I will add the same padding that we have here on the right. I'm just going to add that to the bottom. And that will take care of that. So we have a margin right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, so I'm going to We'll add like that. Does that work? Oh, yeah. Sorry, you didn't hear that. I think that's that okay. works unless we're adding a caption and, and you lose some space from that. No, it's okay. It's okay. We'll add the caption and move the padding to the bottom. Okay. Beneath that. Yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll deal with that alignment thing in a second. So I think captions are probably more important than heading of the entire thing. Yes. Right? Okay. So let's start with that. Um, that's our next item. And we're getting close to the hour, but. If you're okay to keep going, I'm, I'm okay to keep going. Yep. All right. Let's add. Let's add captions. Uh, oh, I didn't make a way to remove images, and I guess this is no longer necessary. I think rows and removing rows is not necessary, but removing an image will be necessary. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Let's add a caption. So, how can we add a caption? Well, what we could do is we could have a little bit of space. Uh, from here to here that always has just like a blank caption, just a blank, you know, outside the box. Yeah, uh, space. That, yeah, just that, typable. That, that's typable, yeah. So what could we do for that? Um, all right. So the easiest thing to do there is that <clears throat> we wrap the image. Let's see. So I'm just reading their code. Okay, so what they're doing right here, this is where it actually happens. So they create an image and they create a div. <clears throat> and then they read the file, and then when it's done, they create this little source thing, which then goes in to this image preview. If they pin that to image view, which is image preview, append the child of the image view. So what we're going to do is we're also going to append. Um, let's make the border be around the image. And add some padding to this thing too. And then we'll have another thing that we're going to add to the image view that's going to be a little text box. And it's going to look horrible at first, but we'll make it better very quickly. So we'll say let the box equals document that eight element of an input. And we're going to say image view dot and a child uh, info box. This is um, this is going to be a place where you could, you know, where you could put the caption. So let's see if how that looks. Okay, so there's a little spot right there. Uh, cool. Okay, a couple of things that we need to fix, but that's okay for here. Um, so this is going to be the caption. And. Mm hmm. All right. So the first thing we need to do is make that caption fit within the bounds of the box so that we don't have this kind of thing going. That's number one. So inside the image view, there's an image and there's an input. And the max width of this thing is going to be 99% of its container. And 
的秘诀故事。And when you print, you print. We don't want a border on the. Yeah, very good. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that should make. So that's number one. Then we'll have to deal with the. Vertical alignment in a second, but let's just see if we can get this. Okay, so okay, so they're all the same width, but then we want to do that thing with the vertical alignment being on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So this was what we were talking about. This align items flex end. So that's over here. Align items flex end. And that will give us like that. Looks great. Now the border around the image, though, feels a little weird. OK. Right? It would look. It would probably right. look better if the, you notice that they're somewhere right, smaller. Right, you notice that they're Right, exactly. So if we just kind of that out for a second. And I think we're getting pretty close. So here, OK, so then you drop your images here. Great, you got all your pictures. You say, what they are. you say what they are. I have to turn off this thing. OK, so the way it's set up right now, it's if you click anywhere, it will automatically try to say, like, upload an image so that you could do this, like, on a, on a mobile browser. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. Cute. But, like, totally unnecessary. That's not the situation. It's, like, not, not really the situation you're going to be dealing with. Um, so take input is it only. Okay. Right. I don't want you to anywhere to do anything. Just except upload images. Okay. And then oh, let's just oh cool. I managed to crash it. Okay, let's go. One second. Technical difficulties. Bam. All right. So now, if I bring this in here and I say, uh, one, two, three, to print. Can we center uh, those? Yeah, we can. We can. Um, <clears throat> do that right now. I think this should work. Forgot. It. Yeah. All right. Um, and obviously, if you could leave these blank, there's nothing. Oh, right. You wanted to know if the right, so I told you that the caption would move with the thing. Yes, looks good, right? Yeah, it looks great. Uh, one problem is that it's very hard to, like, since the I, I need to I need to tell draggable to not dr like I can't select the text in here. Ah, uh, okay. You can you can click in there and you can type, but it's very hard to select because it's using that as a drag handle. So let's quickly see if there's a. A little option of like a, a thing like don't drag on this thing, you know, disable disable the drag handle. There's probably, probably like thousands of options that are, yeah, drag out draggable options, right? There's tons of stuff. Handle. Uh, specify CSS selector for a handle element if you don't want to allow drag on the entire element. There we go. So the handle is going to be the image. You could drag the image but not the text box. So let's see if that works. Um, is image. That probably would work, even if I did, even if I specified it incorrectly. 
right? That lets you think, but here you could type and you perfect. Okay. So the images let you rearrange them to your fancy, but the caption is here. All right. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we should make it. You should be able to remove the image. Um, let's see. What can I do? I can add a little tiny little button, like in the upper right hand corner of the image, um, that lets you remove the image. That's only visible when you hover over the image or something like that. So what we should do is over here, we should remove button. A little button and move button dot click is going to be a function that when you click on that button, um, it will remove this image view. Image view uh, remove. hilarious way of doing this, but that's okay. And then we're gonna uh, and of this remove button. Actually, I should probably put up top for the image even. Uh, it's, uh, we should probably put something on that image which has some sort of uh -huh. so, should be okay so look again terrible but we'll, okay so there's there's the x if you click the x nothing happens okay fine why why does nothing happen this button Look. No. The touch of the button. Okay. Maybe a bit more traditional way. Fat listener. Fine. Let's add event listener. Click. Function. That doesn't work. Then it might be that I can't, I can't refer to this thing. Okay. Okay. That works fine. So now let's make this look less horrible. Uh, one way to do that would be to sort of. Uh, and um, absolute right of zero. Oh, no, 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 position. That's wrong. Position relative. Position fixed. No. Fine, forget position. We'll do it by saying that it's um, loaded to the right. And uh, like red, some kind of light red. Uh, what if I put it after the image? Let me see. I want to 
just hold on. Okay, that looks less terrible. Okay, so that's going to be for our button. Will that disappear during printing? Yes. So what we're going to do over here in the print thing is we're going to say, well, it's actually by default, here's what we're going to do. By default, it's going to do this. But when you uh, hover over the image, So what will happen now is when you uh, it jumps a little bit because see whatever, it. Yep. but so now by default you can't see it. You hover over it. Uh, okay, so you know what? Let's make it so that for printing no matter what the display is not. Input border is none, and the button display is none. Now, even if you had hovered over an image and you hit print, come on. Still there. Uh, Portent. Oh, I know why. This, this is very, very specific. So I'm going to say that. In the image view, uh, that button is going to be not visible, absolutely super important. Override, override. OK, now, OK. okay. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> All right, so that's done. And now we just have a heading, which we could do pretty similar. Uh, it's a little bit easier because it looks like a heading. And say that uh, heading is font size. I don't know, what's a good font size for you? 16 point? Sure. And the width is 100%. Or, yeah, I'm sure. 100%. Center. Uh, we can make it. Where is it? Where'd it go? Empty image. I'm not save that. Wait, didn't save. Okay, my fault. Um, hmm. That's not really with a hundred percent. That's not what I was expecting. Oh, header heading works. Like um, That margin zero did not be the trick that I was hoping, but that's fine. Okay, so, no, no, that's gonna look terrible. This has to be, this has to be with my thing. Okay,
Why is it? Oh, because I have a whiff. There we go. Up the whiff, and then it makes sense. Okay. So, today's schedule. It should lose a border. Great. And. Oh. Where, what happened to the. Oh, oh. It's now the. Okay. Okay, now I probably don't need to write, yeah. Okay, so I need to add a margin at the heading there, and then this would be our main content. And I definitely don't need this anymore. Well, okay, so. Let's make it um, yeah, it's gonna be the thing thing. is going to margin. Uh, uh, okay. That's better. So then this is the schedule. C. Yeah, looks great. And I just try out putting lots more pictures. How's that? That looks great. All right. Yeah. Yay. All right, so we'll be open sourcing all this code, and it'll be in, the links will all be in the show notes. Uh, thank you to all of you who've been joining. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. I can't wait to use it. Excellent. You, very just, good. Gave, you just gave me a whole bunch of time back. I'm very glad to help. All right, take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.